Ink cartridges are a scam. <laughs> oh, I believe it. I can totally believe they're scams. As a technical support assistant for an unnamed computer Can't believe there's whole telemarketing centers. You know when you call customer support and nine times out of ten the person you're connected to is from a different country and you can't understand them and they can't understand you? 20% of the time actually fixing your problem and about 80% of the time trying to... I've never had that experience. That's because they're trained to. Anyway, one day I'm sitting at my desk getting yelled at by an irate customer from Georgia and a note comes across my computer's alert system. Every few weeks the manufacturer has to liquidate old products because they're about to get replaced with new models and it was our job to try and sell I've never called tech support and try and been retail no one's ever tried to sell me something where they were about to go on sale a bit shady but par for the course just her laptop and she didn't know how to install her word processor I quickly walk her through the process <laughs> chatting her up to see if I can sell her something and I That's learned that she's so about adorable to to freshman year of college college you say well dear madam have you a printer to produce hard Tim. English essays you'll be writing. Uh, and Prime Fried. was presented with two prices, one in red and one in black. The black number was the retail price. This is how much you would sell the product for over the phone. The red number was the manufacturing price. Wow. In other words, how much it cost the company to make that product. Now, why Good did margins. This figure? I have no idea. I color ink cartridges for $59.95. And the cost of manufacturing? 23 cents. Whoa. I mean, so All right, stunned. time, to, time to get in the ink cartridge bi uh, my business. Supervisor over. I pointed at the screen and asked him, Is that really the cost of manufacturing? He took a glance at the screen, laughed, then nodded. Yup. I looked at him in disbelief. That's a total scam. And he said, Eh, what can you do about it? <laughs> Which leads us to today. Good today, guy. Good I man. I am doing something about it. The most expensive liquid in the world, right behind King Cobra Venom, Scorpion Venom, Chanel Number no. 5, Insulin, and Mercury. So first some disclosure. Whoa! Like wait, that's a real fact? Printers like this one. Laser what the fuck? This is my mom's printer. This is about the fifth one that I've bought this week. It excels in two areas. Number one, the ink cartridges always need to be replaced. And number two, it's always broken. Holy so shit, that's I called up nuts. technical support myself. And the first the question they asked me was, have you replaced the ink cartridges recently? So let's talk about the wonderful scam of ink cartridges. This is much deeper than I thought it'd be. One of these babies, pretty easy to manufacture, just some plastic bits, the ink goes here, but they mark it for about 50 bucks. Now the line that we're fed is simple. Ink cartridges are expensive because ink technology is expensive. HP reportedly spends $1 billion annually to develop printing technology, but what really has changed about these fellas in that time? Actually, not much. Like I said, plastic shell filled with ink. Turns out all that technology is housed in here. Ever notice that these usually- Yeah, why not just have someone else print it for you in that this? case? Doesn't that seem insane? Well, what if I told you that that was all in the design? You might not know it, but most printers are sold at a loss, and the money is made back from the cost of printer ink. This is a marketing ploy known as the razor and blades model. I'm so learning so much about ink. Price in order Holy to shit. increase sales of the complementary good, which is often a consumable that must continually be resupplied. In a nutshell, give them the razor sell them the blades. Oh, I'm sorry the to hear that, Google. Is give them the printer, Good sell boy, them the Nitro. Mark I'm up sorry the to hear about that. Consumable, and before too long, the printer itself is paid for. Right, so tons of ink cartridges are manufactured with this little chip on them. Printer companies like to tell us that this little thing's purpose is to monitor the quality of the ink. The chip lets you know when your printer is running low on a particular color. The chip can facilitate firmware updates to improve performance. All of this is baloney. The chip is designed to get you to spend more money. For example, Say you're running low on cyan ink. The chip will tell the printer to stop operating, even if <laughs> every other color type is full until that single color is replaced. But here's the That's rough. so A lot of the smart. Time the chip says you've got low ink. 
you actually don't. So this video is three years old now. Have they ever said anything about this? My ink cartridges. This is a big video. I feel like they had to have made a statement. The chip is designed to prevent that as well. Just last year, a major court case over that very issue between Impression Products and Lexmark went all the way to the top, and the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the little guy, reaffirming a consumer's right to repair and modify products. Nice. And purchase. Let's go. No sense that something like that had to go. Thanks. Is a bruiser boy. In the land. Brody. But in the printing world, exploitation of consumers is the rule of the day. Like, for example, did you know that many printers purposely mix a little cyan ink into every black and white document you print? That's right. While you're thinking, hey, I'll just print black and white to save my color cartridges, printers are designed to use a bit of color without telling you. And as we've mentioned before, oh. if even one of those cartridges registers as low ink, the entire machine is disabled. Oh. Oh, but the companies say this extra little bit of color gives it a purer black. That's not how it works. And for every diagnostic you run, every test page you print, you'll be using up those lovely ink cartridges more and more and more and more. You literally get to pay to make sure the thing you've already bought still works on a regular basis. Isn't that great? Yes, this no is fucking what deep. You go with all printers suffer Holy from the same shit. gouging issues. The ink costs too much. It what an elaborate scam. Place. The printers always have driver issues. Wireless never works. The interface on every model is impossible. Yeah, this is just out. like the McDonald's Personally, ice cream machine. Said, this enough. is just enough. like it. Product that is designed to stop working and force customers to purchase another product, even if there's nothing broken about the product in question. Take this thing, for instance. This is my Genius. printer. She uses it to print letters. It wasn't printing them right, so she went out and spent 60 bucks Thanks on some ball crack cartridges, and kitty. thinking that would fix the problem. And after struggling for a day figuring out how to install the bloody thing, she tried printing the letter again, but the problem still wasn't fixed. I got to hear about it over the phone. So then I drive about half an hour and I beat up my mom. Take it home, where I waste the rest of the new cartridge's ink running a bunch of inconclusive diagnostics to try and figure out why it's not printing correctly. By the time I determine that the printer has a common, yet for some reason unrepairable hardware issue, I discover the cheapest option is to just order a replacement. But I can't order a replacement because they update their printer models each year, so now I have to go buy the new and improved model. And I can't use the old ink cartridge. I wonder how many things there are like this. Model because the new and improved model Ice cream machine and this now. Cartridge it's gotta be more. So I have to spend another $50 on these new and improved ink cartridges, which it turns out just have a slightly longer piece of plastic on the inside. And by the time I get this new and improved printer ready, I discover the new and improved Look up Apple scams? I'm not a fucking idiot. That whole company's a scam. So I go on the printing company's obtuse website and use their auto detect tool, which doesn't work, to try and find a driver that is compatible. And in order to locate the compatible driver by hand, I have to determine if she's using a computer that runs on a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit operating system, which many of you at this point may realize is not the kind of information that moms usually know the answer to. So by the time we figure that all out and get the printer working properly, we're left with an obvious question. Why is this still a problem in the 21st century? We shot a car into space. Do 3D printers have this problem as well? I've never actually seen one. So is there like manufactured obsolescence with a 3D printer? Obviously not ink related, but like do your particles not work sometimes? No, so 3D printing is pretty safe. Not a scam. Today. Well, that was much deeper than I expected that to be. I haven't used a printer in years. Quite literally, I haven't used a single printer in pretty much as long as I can remember. So it doesn't personally affect me, and yet I still felt off offended and invested. Like, I'm ready to take to the streets. Thanks to the resub, no dad, no milk. Bus cannibal given complete freedom in Canada? Yeah, I know about that. I even talked about that. Dude in Canada murdered someone on a bus and then ate their eyeballs. And they got released from jail with no restrictions. They're just totally free now. Yeah. I was talking about that like a month ago. Yeah, the dude cut off someone's head, gouged out the eyeballs and ate them. And now they're completely free. They could be in the chat right now even. They only got like... I don't even think it was 10 years in jail.